I have eight different stations set up for you guys Kristen uh, Roach, to simulate those physical changes of aging. Teaches at the Academy of Health Professions in Carroll County. Today, her students consider the ailments of aging. <laughs> the shoulders hunch over. <laughs> so each suit in is going to consist of... In a lab, they'll strap of, on suits. Um, braces and weight, like really. A neck brace, a weighted vest to give the students an opportunity to experience some of those physical changes of aging. You're gonna have knee braces, arm weights, and ankle weights. So it is a pretty extensive suit and to allow them to kind of develop empathy and sensitivity towards the elderly. So they start with rice, poured into shoes. Ugh. I don't like that. It mimics the tingly discomfort of nerve-damaged feet. We spend a lot of time on what it means to be a professional. Um, it's a little heavy. <laughs> it's making me feel the rice a lot more. And they go out and they perform hands-on care. Summer Carbaugh straps in Kenzie Leppert. 40 plus hours uh, in one of the um, county long-term care facilities. And the Thank partners you. and the <laughs> class wrap themselves in the infirmities of old age. Our population is aging. Um, and there's going to be a significant demand for healthcare professionals. So we get the little hunch in our back. They get a hunch, a glimpse into the minds of those for whom they care. It was very heavy and tiring, and I think that it helped me understand how sometimes they're grumpy. All students in Academy of Health Professions are going to start off by taking two courses, either Structure and Functions of the Human Body or um, Foundations of Medicine and Health Science. Okay. Um, and then based on the student's interest, they're able to branch off into other specialties. Ooh, I really like anatomy and physiology. They get first aid and CPR certified. I want to be a medical examiner or a forensic <laughs> pathologist. A lot of school, but. <laughs> but Summer and Kenzie know with the certifications they earn, they can work, maybe work their way through college. You can earn your certified nursing assistant and geriatric nursing assistant, and then second semester, there's a bunch of different options for other certifications you can get. Hurry up. <laughs> so students could be able to go out and get a job right away in industry. They could work as nursing assistants. Roach says in addition to nursing, other specialties include physical rehabilitation, pharmacy technician, and clinical medical or dental assistant. What is your condition? The lab also <laughs> simulates visual impairments. Here's what Madeline might see with retinitis pigmentosa. It looks like little like blotches, <laughs> little blotches all over your eyes. I have cataracts. With cataracts, Lindsay Kovac sees through a haze. I don't have good grip and feeling in my fingers. And, and Kit's gloves mimic fumbly fingers. Oh. So I graduated from this program five years ago. Madison Zent Burke. <laughs> and I had an instructor in the program during my clinical rotation who worked at University of Maryland Shock Trauma, which I work at now. Studied and at the academy. It just really helped with networking. It launched her career. There's so many opportunities that are introduced to you through this program. Well, taking these AHP classes is definitely going to help me become a medical examiner in the future. So it's a good option.